I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about one of those plants that's almost foolproof. Um, a lot of beginning gardeners, this is one of the plants that we tell them to try working with off the start, and that is summer squash or zucchini squash. And uh, summer squash are a plant that, um, you know, really um, almost overproduces in the home garden. Uh, if you grow a few plants, you're probably giving fruit away to everybody on the block because this is really a plant that just takes off and really produces quite a bit. So um, this particular plant we're looking at is zucchini. You can see it has a pretty good load of fruit on it already. It's been producing for uh, a month, month and a half, and uh, we have quite a bit of produce on it. Uh, some of its relatives, the yellow crookneck and yellow straightneck, are also good plants to grow, but the zucchini is one that has a very large canopy of leaves on it. And what we're looking for in here is our bloom structure, and as with most melons, we have uh, different kinds of bloom on it here between the male and the female. If I can pull some of these leaves away, we can see right here we have a female flower. Here's the flower part, and underneath it is the ovary, and it looks like a small fruit. And so this is the female flower. We want to see these. Now the male flower is this one here that is on a slender stalk. So you have the flower above it and just a slender stalk. In order to have uh, zucchini squash or squash, we need to have the male and the female flowers on the plant. So uh, it's important to have both these uh, flowers on the plant. Um, you will produce more male flowers than you will female, so if you start to see blooms falling off and no fruit, then that is uh, just because you have a lot of male flowers on it. Now as far as the fruit, uh, that is one of the hotly contested things. What we're looking at is a fruit that this one is probably the ideal size. We want one somewhere it's about eight inches long. You can see it still has the blossom end on it. This will come off, but this has a nice delicate skin on it. Uh, you can break it with your fingernail, but that's a good uh, zucchini squash there. So we're not trying to grow these great big yard long squash. So this is one that is a, a good size. So this is the ideal shape that we're looking for. Let me show you what happens if you wait a little bit too long. A lot of times we'll get a squash like this. And this one is a uh, very large overgrown. The skin has gotten very tough on it. And so these you really want to get off the plant. You don't want to allow your squash to get to this size. So you want to get them harvested quick. And if you can't get to them right away, then you know have a neighbor come over and harvest some. But you want to get these off. Otherwise, the plant spends a lot of its energy trying to produce this, and it really doesn't need it. So again, we want to get those uh, better sized squash. Uh, some of the other things we're looking at here, we have a uh, squash back in here that is not looking very good. It's starting to, to uh, yellow out. This one here is one that either was not pollinated well or it's suffering a little bit of what we call blossom end rot, where the blossom end down here begins to dry back blackened, kind of shrunken a little bit, and that's due to a calcium deficiency. And with the high heat and a lot of water demand on this plant, it interrupts the, um, the uh, nutrient cycle within the plant. So a lot of times they can become calcium deficient just due to the high water loss in the plant. So uh, sometimes you will see that. Again, cut these off. Don't leave them on the, the squash because the plant's spending its time trying to take care of this and get them off. The other thing we want to look for is one of the big problems that we see on squash, and that's squash bug. So if you start to see these little brown uh, capsules here, these little eggs, these are eggs of the squash bug, and the squash bug is probably the number one cause of death of, of our summer squash, and it can spread over onto some of the other uh, melons, but this is a... Uh, a uh, real disastrous insect to have in your garden. So the best time to take care of this is right now and just snip that leaf off or cut this section of the leaf out and get those eggs out of the garden. They're very hard, so you can't really squash them. Uh, so you just pull that part of the leaf off and, and get it out of the garden. 
So as we're looking at the, the plant, other problems that we can have with these are, of course, our powdery mildew can show up on it. Uh, luckily, with our climate here, we don't have a lot of disease problems, but powdery mildew can be a problem, and that's where you have the very white uh, leaves, almost like, um, um, like a bread mold on top of it, just a very feathery, powdery-type material. So that can be taken care of easily with the fungicide. Uh, right now you can also plant squash, so we still have time in the season to plant new squash. So if your plant's beginning to play out, you've had it in for quite a while, then go ahead and, and replant and you'll have more squash later on in the season. So hopefully those are some tips that'll give you a good, productive, bountiful garden this summer.